Welcome to the 2023 North Carolina DMV Written Test. This test has 30 questions with detailed explanations to help you prepare for the DMV test. If this video is helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more educational videos. Question. If you are found to be driving with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of dash or more, your license will be immediately revoked for at least 30 days. Option number A, 0.08%. Option number B, 0.02%. Option number C, 0.01%. Option number D, 0.04%. The answer is option number A, 0.08%. Research shows that the risk of being involved in a crash increase when the alcohol level is 0.05% and at 0.08%, the risk of causing a fatal crash is even greater. If you are found to be driving with a BAC of 0.08% or more, you will be charged with impaired driving and your driver license will be immediately revoked for at least 30 days. After that, you will have to apply for a new driver license. If you are convicted of the charge, you may also face criminal penalties. Question. This sign warns drivers of? Option number A. A traffic officer ahead. Option number B. A rest area ahead. Option number C. An emergency vehicle ahead. Option number D. A flag person, flagger, ahead. The answer is option number D, a flag person, flagger, ahead. The flagger sign warns drivers of construction or maintenance on the road ahead where a flagger wearing an orange vest is stationed at the site to control traffic. The flagger uses a stop slash slow paddle to either stop traffic or allow traffic to proceed. When you see the flagger, sign, stay alert and be prepared to stop. Question. In which of the following situations are you not allowed to pass another vehicle on the right? Option number A. When you're in a left turn lane. Option number B. On a highway with at least two lanes traveling in each direction. Option number C when the other vehicle is in a left turn lane. Option number D, on a one-way street where all lanes of traffic are moving in your direction. The answer is option number A, when you're in a left turn lane. The passing lane must always be clear. There are only a few situations in which you may pass a vehicle on the right. You may pass a vehicle on the right when it is in a left turn lane. You may also pass a vehicle on the right when there are two or more lanes going in the same direction as the vehicle. You may not pass another vehicle on the right if you are in a left turn lane. A left turn lane is only for making left turns and U-turns were permitted. Question. Which of the following are used as left edge lines on divided highways? Option number A. Single solid white lines. Option number B. Single solid yellow lines. Option number C. Double solid red lines. Option number D double solid white lines. 
The answer is option number B. Single solid yellow lines. On divided highways and some other roadways, a single solid yellow line will usually be used to indicate the leftmost boundary of the drivable roadway. Question. This sign is? Option number A. A wrong way sign. Option number B. A work zone sign. Option number C. A railroad crossing sign. Option number D. A road repair sign. The answer is option number C, a railroad crossing sign. The railroad crossing sign is a warning sign. Railroad crossing signs are designed to alert drivers of railroad tracks ahead. Drivers must be aware of any approaching trains from both directions and be prepared to stop if necessary. This sign is a passive sign compared to an active sign, such as the traffic control devices or lights at the train crossing. Question. To enter an interstate highway, use dash until your vehicle's speed matches that of highway traffic and then merge safely. Option number A. An exit ramp. Option number B. An acceleration lane. Option number C. The shoulder. Option number D. A deceleration lane. The answer is option number B. An acceleration lane. When entering the interstate, use the acceleration lane until your vehicle's speed matches that of the other traffic and then merge safely. Question. When driving on a one-way street with three or more lanes of traffic, you must use? Option number A. The outside lanes for through travel and the center lanes for turning. Option number B. The outside lanes for turning and the center lanes for through travel. Option number C. The outside lanes for through travel and turning. Option number D. The center lanes for through travel and turning. The answer is option number B. The outside lanes for turning and the center lanes for through travel. On a one-way street with three or more lanes of traffic, use the center lanes for through travel and the outside lanes for turning. Question. Hydroplaning can start at speeds as low as? Option number A. 45 miles per hour. Option number B. 50 miles per hour. Option number C. 40 miles per hour. Option number D. 30 miles per hour. The answer is option number D. 30 miles per hour. Hydroplaning occurs when a thin sheet of water gets between the road surface and a vehicle's tires, causing them to lose contact with the road. The vehicle then begins a skidding movement across the road. Hydroplaning can start at speeds as low as 30 miles per hour and in water that is little more than 1 8 inch deep. Question. Under North Carolina law, which occupants of a vehicle must wear seat belts or suitable child restraints? Option number A. The driver and passengers under 16. Option number B. The driver and all passengers. Option number C. The driver and front seat passengers. Option number D. The driver and rear seat passengers. 
The answer is option number B. The driver and all passengers. North Carolina's seatbelt law requires the driver and all passengers in a motor vehicle manufactured with seat belts to wear a seat belt or suitable child restraint whenever the vehicle is in forward motion. Question. What does this sign mean? Option number A. There is an emergency escape ramp ahead. Option number B. This route is for trucks only. Option number C. Trucks are entering from a steep side road ahead. Option number D. There is a steep descent ahead. The answer is option number D. There is a steep descent ahead. This sign warns that there is a steep descent ahead. Check your brakes. Watch out for slowly descending vehicles such as trucks. Use low gear to reduce wear on your brakes even if your vehicle has an automatic transmission. Question. This sign is? Option number A. A handicapped parking sign. Option number B. A guide sign for a highway. Option number C. A warning sign for a two-way road. Option number D. A service sign for a hospital. The answer is option number D. A service sign for a hospital. White on blue general service signs provide road users with generic information about facilities and services that are available along the roadway. This service sign indicates a hospital ahead. Question. What is the best way to handle a curve? Option number A. Stay on your side of the road and drive as far to the left as possible. Option number B. Slow down before entering the curve. Option number C. Start to turn the vehicle just before the curve and quickly increase your speed. Option number D. Gradually increase your speed before entering the curve. The answer is option number B. Slow down before entering the curve. Before you enter a curve, slow down so you won't need to brake in the curve. Breaking in a curve can cause a skid. Question. Dash. Are the areas near the left and right rear corners of your vehicle that you cannot see in your mirrors? Option number A. Corner spots. Option number B. Hidden spots. Option number C. No zones. Option number D. Blind spots. The answer is option number D. Blind spots. Your mirrors don't show you everything around your vehicle. There are blind spots, areas near the left and right rear corners of your vehicle that you cannot see in your mirrors. To see these areas before you turn or change lanes, you must look over your shoulder to view them directly. No zones are the large blind spots around a large commercial vehicle such as a bus or truck. Question. What does this sign indicate? Option number A. Merging traffic ahead. Option number B. Divided highway begins. Option number C. No U-turns allowed. Option number D. Two-way traffic ahead. The answer is option number D. Two-way traffic ahead. This sign warns that you are entering a two-way undivided roadway. Keep right 
and watch for traffic going in the opposite direction. Question. In North Carolina, you must dim your headlights whenever you are within dash of an oncoming vehicle. Option number A, 500 feet. Option number B, 400 feet. Option number C, 1,000 feet. Option number D, 200 feet. The answer is option number A, 500 feet. High beam headlights can blind a driver. Under North Carolina law, you must dim your headlights whenever you are within 500 feet of an oncoming vehicle. Question. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights or sounding a siren approaches you from either direction, you must? Option number A. Increase your speed and clear the lane quickly. Option number B. Pull over to the right and stop. Option number C. Stop immediately where you are. Option number D. Pull over to the left and stop. The answer is option number B. Pull over to the right and stop. You must pull over to the right edge of the road when an emergency vehicle approaches you with its flashing lights or siren on, no matter which direction the emergency vehicle is traveling in. In North Carolina, there is one exception. You don't have to pull over if you're on the opposite side of a divided highway with at least four lanes. However, if you're in the middle of an intersection when the emergency vehicle approaches, proceed through the intersection and then pull over immediately. Question. Before pulling out from a parallel parking space on the right side of the road, you should check for approaching traffic and Option number A. Not give any turn signal. Option number B. Turn on your emergency flashers. Option number C. Give a right turn signal. Option number D. Give a left turn signal. The answer is option number D. Give a left turn signal. Before pulling out from a parallel parking space on the right side of the road, check for approaching traffic and give a left turn signal. If the parking space were on the left side of a one-way road, you would give a right turn signal instead. Question. If you double your speed, your vehicle will travel dash as far to break to a stop. Option number A, three times. Option number B, four times. Option number C, just. Option number D, twice. The answer is option number B, four times. Even after you start to brake, your vehicle will keep moving for a certain distance before it comes to a stop. This is called the braking distance. It is roughly proportional to the square of your speed. For example, doubling your speed from 30 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour will increase your braking distance by about a factor of 4 from 46 feet to 180 feet. At higher speeds, leave a greater following distance behind the vehicle in front of you. Question. When passing a moped, you must stay at least? Option number A. Two feet to the right of it. Option number B. Three feet to the left of it. Option number C. One foot to the left of it. Option number D. Two feet to the left of it. 
The answer is option number D. Two feet to the left of it. A moped should travel on the right side of the lane. To pass a moped, you must stay at least two feet to the left of it. Question. What does this sign mean? Option number A. No left turns. Option number B. No right turns. Option number C. No U-turns. Option number D. None of the above. The answer is option number C. No U-turns. A red slash inside a red circle means No! This sign indicates that U-turns are prohibited here. Question. Signs with black letters or symbols on an orange background provide Option number A. Specific information and directions to drivers in work zones. Option number B. Special conditions or hazards ahead. Option number C. Directions, routes, and distances. Option number D. Traffic laws and regulations. The answer is option number A. Specific information and directions to drivers in work zones. Signs with black letters and symbols on an orange background are temporary signs that provide specific information and directions to drivers in work zones. Question. You may not park within? Option number A. 25 feet of the curb line of an intersecting street. Option number B. 65 feet of a fire hydrant. Option number C. 50 feet of the entrance to a fire station. Option number D. 35 feet of the intersecting right-of-way lines if there is no curb. The answer is option number A. 25 feet of the curb line of an intersecting street. You may not park your vehicle within 25 feet of the curb line of an intersecting street or within 15 feet of the intersecting right-of-way lines if there is no curb. Question. This sign is posted on the left side of a roadway. What does it mean? Option number A. Vehicles are allowed to pass on the left. Option number B. Heavy vehicles are not allowed to pass. Option number C. Vehicles are allowed to pass on the right. Option number D. Vehicles are not allowed to pass. The answer is option number D. Vehicles are not allowed to pass. This pennant-shaped warning sign emphasizes, rather than replaces, the rectangular regulatory do not pass sign. It is located on the left side of a roadway and indicates the beginning of a no-passing zone. Vehicles may not pass there. Question. When two or more vehicles reach an uncontrolled intersection, i.e., one without signs or signals, at about the same time, which vehicle has the right of way? Option number A. The vehicle to the left. Option number B. The vehicle to the right. Option number C. The vehicle with the most passengers. Option number D. The largest vehicle. The answer is option number B. The vehicle to the right. When two or more vehicles reach an uncontrolled intersection, i.e., one without signs or signals, at the same time, the vehicle to the right has the right of way. Question. In North Carolina, 
you must use your headlights from sunset to sunrise, and whenever visibility is? Option number A, 400 feet or less. Option number B, 1,000 feet or less. Option number C, 700 feet or less. Option number D, 500 feet or less. The answer is option number A, 400 feet or less. Under North Carolina law, you must use your headlights from sunset to sunrise, and whenever visibility is 400 feet or less. Note, some other U.S. states have different rules about when you must use your headlights. When traveling out of state, always check the local traffic laws. Question. You must not pass on a curb or the crest of a hill if you cannot see at least dash ahead. Option number A. 750 feet. Option number B. 650 feet. Option number C. 850 feet. Option number D. 500 feet. The answer is option number D, 500 feet. You must not pass on a curve or the crest of a hill if you cannot see at least 500 feet ahead. Question. A red arrow signal at an intersection indicates that. Option number A, turning traffic must stop. Option number B. Turning traffic must increase speed and turn quickly. Option number C. Turning traffic must proceed at the same speed. Option number D. Turning traffic must slow down. The answer is option number A. Turning traffic must stop. A red arrow means turning traffic must stop. They must wait for the next green arrow or green light before turning in that direction. Question. What does this sign indicate? Option number A. You may either go straight or turn right. Option number B. There is a sharp turn ahead. Option number C. You may either go straight or turn left. Option number D. You must make a left turn if you are keeping left. The answer is option number C. You may either go straight or turn left. A two-headed arrow with one head pointing straight ahead and the other pointing left means that you may either go straight or turn left. Question. In North Carolina, the maximum speed limit in cities and towns is dash, except where otherwise posted. Option number A, 45 miles per hour. Option number B, 50 miles per hour. Option number C, 35 miles per hour. Option number D, 25 miles per hour. The answer is option number C, 35 miles per hour. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit is 35 miles per hour in cities and towns. Special speed limits may be posted in certain areas. Question. If you are convicted of running a red light, dash, will be added to your driving record. Option number A, one point. Option number B, four points. Option number C, three points. Option number D, two points. The answer is option number C, three points. 
If you are convicted of certain motor vehicle violations in North Carolina, driver license points will be added to your driving record. The number of points for a violation ranges from 1 to 5. If you are convicted of running a red light, three points will be added. If too many points are added to your driving record, you may face penalties.